Hi, it's been a while since I did uh, another video. Um, I've been busy doing ultra HDMI installs and stuff, and then it kind of uh, stopped because we're, we're out of kits and Marshall had to make new batches and stuff. Um, but once in a while there is something worthwhile making a video for, and this is one of those moments. Um, so uh, we got another uh, order in from Marshall. So we have new uh, Ultra HDMI kits on stock. I'll show you. So here you can see we have an order from Marshall and it's about 50 kits that we have on stock. So we'll start by fulfilling orders. You see a whole box of Ultra HDMI goodness. So that's for another time. Um, but some I wanted to show you this so um, I had a client who sent in his console he um, Painted it another color. It's nicely done. I must say and I wanted to show you this it has an ultra HDMI mod so nothing special there, but What he made me he asked me to do is to add an RGB bo mod board from Tim Worthington into the same console that he has the HDMI mod on. So um, it's if you don't have the proper tools and the proper stuff, it's hard to do. But um, there's a guy, Bordy, and he released the this. So these are flex uh, PCBs to Add on top of the ultra HDMI flex cable so you can break out the necessary ports and pins for, to uh, install the RGB board so I had uh, the flex cables PCB made um, took a while but it finally got here and then we could uh, start to do the mod so. so as you can see the ultra HDMI kit is also in there in the bottom and on top we have the RGB board I'll take it apart carefully so here you can see the wire mess <laughs> so the flex cable from the ultra HDMI is here on top of that is this RGB board this RGB flex cable and now we have our flat cable uh, with the data line and stuff going into the the uh, RGB board from Tim Worthington and it also needs three volts and a ground we also use the reset signal and we also use the um, controller signal so I'll close it up again It's a bit fiddly with all those cables, but it works out nice. See, like this. So on the bottom side of the board, we uh, solder the red, clean, green and blue, also the ground and the CS signal from the RGB board. Um, I'll show you the working so I don't have uh, I don't have um, an RGB monitor but I have my OSCC which converts RGB to HDMI and I hook that up to my TV I'm going to uh, get my RGB cable so it's an uh, N64, uh, NES RGB cable which goes into the OSCC so we'll plug that in add the pack and I'll also add the card which an, it's an NTSC console by the way I'll turn it on
so yeah you can see it works pretty nicely so this was the um, RGB output through my SS OSSC via HDMI on my TV so now I'm going to turn off the uh, OSCC so the picture is gone and I'll prove to you that the HDMI still works so I need my mini HDMI cable here this one I'll plug it in like that I'll shut it off again and now we'll switch channels it's on my DV DVI input so we won't get audio but we'll see the picture from the Ultra HDMI so like this you see this is the Ultra HDMI image this install would be very difficult if uh, Bordy didn't make the little uh, flex cable PCB to split all the signals um, it's, it's nice that he uh, does this for the community and, and just gives it away you just have to send it out and get it made um, so this is what I wanted to show you uh, for now so um, if you like this video please subscribe if you uh, dislike it please do the other thing and uh, I'll see you next time bye bye